Well, we've been talking about this. We've been talking about John Forrest, who is four times the number one qualifier and has tied the record all time with Warren Johnson. You see it right there at 138. But he has yet to win this year. Is he going to win here today? Well, when Tim Wilkerson qualified onto the bump, it made it just a little bit harder. One thing I've noticed here is uh, Lane Joyce and, Ron, and uh, John Force has taken the right-hand lane. Crew Chiefs, Ron Douglas, Dean Antonelli, obviously they like what they see. And I can't, I mean, both lanes look pretty even right now. I mean, the track conditions are pretty good. We've seen tire smoke in both lanes, but we've also seen some great side-by-side -side runs. And plus, Tim doesn't like that left-hand lane. He's had a problem with the bumps out in the middle of the racetrack, upsetting his car because his clutches have been a little bit more aggressive, and they haven't really meshed real well. I don't know if that had anything to do with why they put him over there. More than likely, it was just that uh, John Forrest's crew chiefs just like that right lane better for whatever reason. Track, track temperature is still beautiful. Tim Wilkerson, 14 times starting from the bump and never beat the number one guy. John Forrest, Tim Wilkerson can't get it done this time either. 4, 16, 304. Put the hole out down there. Put the hole out right before half jack. Well, Tim had the advantage by just a little more than a hundredth of a second off the start and stayed with him pretty close to about 300 foot. Then you heard on the radio put a cylinder out just before half track. His eighth mile speed was way down and that's where John pulled away for the win. 